You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Kelly Swoop and these are your WMAR 2 News top stories. Chinkapin Run Park snakes through Northeast Baltimore from Northern Parkway to Morgan State University. Now it is a step closer to getting a much needed upgrade. In recent years, people say that it's been overlooked, but now the Rails to Trails Conservancy is helping change that with a $270,000 grant. And that money will go toward a brand new, nearly two mile walking and biking trail. Partners say it will both get people into the park and through it. So that we can access the serenity and natural beauty of this park. And when it is complete, the Chinkapin Run Trail will give us a safe way to walk, roll or ride to grocery stores, to churches and other faith communities, to schools and to Morgan State's campus. After preliminary design, the project's managers will seek state and federal funding for the final design and construction. Well, from a power plant to flowering plants, another big investment in green space will bring dozens of acres to Baltimore County. The county celebrated a $10 million project to turn the former site of the Charles P. Crane Generating Station in Middle River into one big public park. The former coal plant was closed in 2018 and was demolished in 2022. Well, two schools are teaming up to help fight the nationwide nursing surge. Notre Dame of Maryland University is opening up its accelerated nursing program to Goucher College graduates. Any student who received a bachelor's degree from Goucher can now enroll in the program, which can earn them a nursing degree in as little as 15 months. Notre Dame turned co-ed in 2022 and over a hundred years of being after over a hundred years of being an all women's university. Sunny skies continue for this week as temperatures get a little bit warmer. We're still a couple of weeks away from fall and summer's got some fight left in it. Evident here mid 80s Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. The work week stays pretty mild. The biggest development, a couple of clouds by the end of the week. If you're making plans next weekend, we're still mild, 84 to 85. Skies gradually clear out for the second half of the weekend. By Monday, back to 82 degrees, a touch cooler, but still a nice day. Kelly? All right, thanks, Chris. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com all day for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2news app in the App Store.